Hi dancers, welcome to SKR Yoga and Wellness. My name is Sam and today we are doing a full body creative flow. So I'm super excited for this class because this is going to be something a little bit different than what I usually do. So I've tried to be a little bit more creative with this flow. I found that I've gotten into a little bit of a routine and a certain systematic way of constructing my classes, which isn't necessarily a bad thing, but I wanted to challenge myself and really just play with the yoga asanas that we're using in this class and start to find different and new transitions in and out of things. So thinking of, thinking of it more as like choreography or a type of dance that we're doing rather than a yoga class. So with that in mind as well, we're not going to be holding poses for as long. I really want this class to focus on more of a constant sense of movement. So it's definitely going to flow a little bit more in and out of poses. We're not going to hold things for quite as long. And also what I would love to do is we're gonna do each flow twice. So the first time we go through it, I'll move slightly slower and give a little bit more explanation so that the first time we see it, we can kind of get used to it. And then the second time through, just kind of pick up the pace and really get our bodies moving. So with that in mind, definitely make sure that you're breathing through all of this and that we're not holding our breath at any point. And also because this is a very free flowing creative class, we will have no props. One thing I will say though is just make sure you do have a fair bit of space. We might be kind of twisting and testing our directions, perhaps moving slightly off of the mat. So just keep that in mind for whatever your environment is that you're practicing in today. And first we're just gonna get into our warm up, which will remain pretty basic and we're just gonna do once. So we're gonna roll through some series of cat and cow. So coming onto all fours, bring your knees under your hips, hands under your shoulders, and then first finding your neutral spine, and then inhale to look up and arch, shoulders away from your ears, exhale to curve. Inhale to look up and arch, and exhale to curve. And we're gonna repeat this three more times following the pace of your own breathing. Really starting to warm up your back, warm up your shoulders, warm up your breath. Waking up the body, getting it ready for this very free moving flow. Now let's say we're coming into our last round here. And exhale, curve. Coming back to neutral spine, we're just gonna come into puppy pose. So you're gonna walk your hands out until you can rest your elbows down onto the mat. Then you're gonna release your forehead. Make sure your hips stay right over top of your knees here. So we're still maintaining that 90 degree angle. And you can stay here or bring the palms of your hands together and then reach your thumbs towards the center of your back. So bending them through your arms. And this might give you a more intense sensation across the shoulder blades in your back, perhaps into your triceps and your arms kind of just generally opening up the armpit area here. Try to keep your belly button pulling in towards your spine. So we're maintaining a strong core here. And we'll release the hands back down to the mat if they were folded. Walk your hands back in to lift your forehead, and we're just gonna warm up the feet a little bit, so tuck your toes underneath you, and let's bring your knees and toes together at the back, and then you're just softly gonna shift your weight back into your heels, and you should feel a stretch through the soles of your feet here. Just, just finding this little toe squat, and we're gonna intensify it a little bit by adding a port de bras up on top. So on an inhale, reach your arms up overhead, and then on an exhale, twist to the right, arms go directly forward and back here, really twisting from your navel, and then we inhale to come back to center. And then exhale to twist all the way to the left, inhale back to center. Feel a nice long line from the tips of your left fingers to the tips of your right fingers. Inhale back up, exhale to twist, inhale back up, and exhale, twist, this is our last round. Inhale up, you might feel a little bit of 
Sensation through the feet here. Exhale in the last round. Inhale to come up. And we'll relax the hands down. Just release your toes and with your feet stretched, just very lightly tap the tops of your feet back onto the mat here. Very good. So we're going to get started with our first moving flow. So you're going to come into a yogi squat into kind of the middle of the mat. So bring your heels in, toes out towards the outsides of your mat. So we're kind of in an open first position, you could say. Then you're going to bring your hands together in prayer position and open, use your elbows to push your knees open. So from here, we're going to stand and come back to the squat four times. So on an inhale, push into the floor, arms reach up, come to a standing position. Exhale, come back down to your yogi squat. Inhale, push to stand. Exhale, back down to your yogi squat. Almost like we're doing ground plies, but keeping all of the foot on the floor as we do this. Exhale, folding. And inhale, push, stand. Long back as we exhale, coming back down into your squat. Now on an exhale, we're going to Pitch our head forward, turn your feet in, and send your hips up towards the sky. So we're just flipping the relationship between your head and your tail. Now step your left foot in slightly, so your feet are right under your hips. And you're gonna plant the left palm, reach the right arm up overhead, finding a twist. Take one deep breath here. Maintain this twist as we bring our body back up to stand. And then you're going to step your right foot back towards the back of the mat. Getting ready for triangle pose here. So send your hips back, arms bend forward, rest your left hand close to your shin. And now we're going to take some arm circles. So bringing that right arm overhead, start going it back up. Try to find a straight line through your collarbone as that arm reaches up towards the sky. Third one. Last one here. We're going to do one more circle. Use the weight of this top hand at the bottom to pull you up to stand on your back foot. So swing that arm, push yourself up, test your balance. Really ground that right foot into the floor. Now we're going to come into tree pose. So taking that left foot, place it on the inside of your right thigh. Bring your hands together in front of your heart. And then inhale, bring the arms up overhead, growing into your tree branches. Feel those hips right underneath you, core is strong. And now from here, we're gonna to turn to face the back of the mat, cross your left foot, and turn. So we're maintaining this cross, arms reach up on an exhale, folding forward. Reach over those legs. So you might feel a bit more of a stretch into the outside of your legs here. Now keep your left foot planted where it is. We're gonna reach the right leg out, finding a lunge, and then twist towards the long edge of your mat. And now from here, use your hands to help you. We're gonna walk over to the other side. And again, walking over. Really feel that fluid movement through your knees as we plie from side to side here. And switch. And last one here, switching, should be over towards your right leg now. We're gonna turn ourselves in, tuck your left knee underneath your right ankle, and then inhale, grow tall, exhale, wrap the arms around you, finding a twist. And again, make sure you have a long spine here, sitting up nice and tall. And we'll exhale to unwind once again, Plant your right foot and you're going to swivel around, coming to a little crouch facing the opposite side of your mat. We're going to repeat all of that on the left side. So bring yourself forward slightly so we're more towards the center of your mat. Coming to your yogi squat once more. And again, we're going to go from standing into the squat. So we inhale, push to stand. Exhale, bend. Inhale, push to stand. Exhale, bend. Keep your spine long, but you can send your hips back as you come down into the squat. So send the hips down towards your heels. Inhale, push the sand. Exhale, fold. And now same thing, flip your head and tail. 
turn your feet in. Now step your right foot towards your left so your, hip, your feet are right under your hips. And we're gonna find a twist, right hand down, left arm up. Start to use the outside of your left leg. Inhale as we stand, maintaining this twist. And now you step your left foot back, square yourselves off, triangle, hips back, arms swing forward. Bringing your gaze wherever is comfortable as we go into these four arm circles. So let's exhale, let the arm come overhead. Inhale, reach it up. This is our third circle. Last circle at this pace. And then our fifth circle is gonna have a little bit of weight. Let it swing, take you all the way up towards that back foot. You will find that wobbly. Don't worry if it's not solid. Then take your right foot, place it on the inside of your right thigh, hands together in front of your heart first. Get yourself centered and grounded. And then inhale your branches up overhead. Feeling nice and strong, remembering to breathe. And from here, we'll cross the right leg over the left. Ooh, make sure you're still in front here. And then exhale, folding over top of those legs. Try to keep the soles of your feet firmly pressed into the floor. Start to get to the outsides of those legs. And we'll keep the right foot where it is. Reach the left leg out, finding your lunge, and twisting to the side. And again, use your hands to help you walk over. And towards the right, towards the left, starting to open up through those hips to the right. Last time towards the left. And then we're turning in as if we were gonna do a roll. But keep yourself in that pretzel position. Inhale the arms up first before we wrap around into this twist. Take two deep breaths here, always remembering to breathe. And we'll exhale, release, keep that left foot planted. And we're gonna spin ourselves all the way around once again, facing the front side of our mat once more. So we're gonna repeat that flow again. I'm gonna move a little bit faster. Really focus on your breath. Make sure you're not holding your breath at any moment throughout this. And we'll just go ahead and get started. So walk yourself forward. Coming to your yogi squat, heels and toes out. Spine stays nice and long here, it's very important. Inhale, reach yourself up. Exhale, down. Inhale, grow. Exhale, squat. Inhale, grow. Exhale, to squat. Last time, inhale, to grow. Exhale, to squat. Let's take an inhale here. Exhale to fold and turn in. Step the feet a little closer together. Left hand down, right arm up as we twist. Take one breath here. And on your next inhale, pushing yourself up to stand. Step the right leg back. Find your triangle pose. Hips go back, arms go forwards. And four arm circles here. One, reaching up. To try to follow the flow of your breath here. We're going to exhale. Inhale the arm up. And exhale. Inhale up. Last one with some weight. Swing yourself up Ooh, to that right leg. This is definitely my worst side for balance. Find yourself grounded. Come into your tree pose. Feel nice and sturdy through that right supporting leg. And we'll exhale, cross the feet, folding forward over those legs, soles of your feet flat on the floor. And now again, keep the left foot where it is, finding your lunge, opening up, and finding your side lunges, transferring between them. Use your hands to help you. One more left and right. We come all the way over to the right side. Twist yourself, tuck that back knee. Inhale, exhale to twist. Take one big breath here, nice and deep into the belly. And we'll exhale, unwind. Flip yourself back around to your little crouch facing the back of your mat. And we'll repeat that on the second side. 
So again, walking forward, finding your yogi squat. Inhale, push, and exhale down. Inhale, push, exhale down. Two more, inhale, push, exhale down. Inhale, push, exhale down. Flip your head and tail, turning your feet. Step towards the back of the mat. Right hand down, left arm up, finding your twist. Inhale, push to stand. Step back, getting ready for triangle. Hips go back, arms go forward, long spine. And exhale, arm comes forward. Inhale, up. Exhale, up. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, and exhale. And inhale, last one, swing that arm. Push off of that front leg. Get yourself grounded into that left foot. Whew. That's definitely a hard transition there. And bringing yourself into tree pose. Feel grounded through that left foot. Taking one more breath here. We'll cross the right foot. Fold over those cross legs, soles of your feet on the floor. And from here, release your left leg. Lunge, opening up to the side. Transfer to the left. Transfer to the right. Bonus, if you can maybe lift the arms up this time around, really getting your power from your legs. Just make sure the knees stay right over top of your toes. Let's go once more both sides. To the right, to the left, and Turning yourself, cross that knee behind the ankle. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, cross and twist. And on your next exhale, unwind and turn yourself all the way around, facing the front of your mat. And we're not done. We're gonna walk ourselves out to plank. Hands right under your shoulders. Finding a nice long line here. And breathe. We're gonna be here for about five breaths. Feel your shoulders pushing away from the floor. Ground your fingers in towards your mat. One more deep breath, and we're gonna step the right foot in between the palms. Let your back heel come to 45 degrees. Warrior one, let's bring our palms together up overhead. Let's inhale to grow taller, exhale. Take a little arch back, and then return with those arms overhead, switching to your warrior two, long through the spine. We won't be here for too, too long. We're gonna breathe the right arm up and over, a little bit of a circular port de bras plant that palm, reach up and over, extended side angle. And now we're gonna reverse the circle of that left arm, bring that to twist, lift your back heel, and lift yourself on up to runner's lunge. From here, grab a hold of your left wrist, inhale to go taller, exhale. Side bend. Inhale, recover. Bring the hands together in front of your heart. Take another inhale here, and then on an exhale, we'll cross the left elbow over the right knee, finding your prayer twist. And then step your left foot to meet the right, finding your chair twist. And from here, we're going to transfer all of our weight into the left foot. Bring your, your focus down towards the floor. Grab a hold of your two piece, of your big toe with your two piece fingers. Push into the floor, and we're finding that twist again, but with our extended right leg. Holding here for a moment, nice big inhale. Exhale, from here, almost like a ball change. You're gonna step right, left, let that left arm sweep all the way to the back of the mat. Finding your easy twist here. We'll take another deep breath. And from here, you're going to rotate to the outside of both of your feet so that your hips are now facing towards the side as well. And we're gonna drop the hips, bring your hand over beside you. Inhale, push, lift the hips back up. Drop the hips. Inhale, push and lift. Drop the hips. Inhale, push and lift. Drop the hips. Last time. Inhale, push and lift. 
And we're gonna drop, put your butt all the way onto the floor, turn yourself to face the front of your mat. Right leg is extended, left leg totally releases over your right. Inhale, grow taller, exhale. Just let your spine curve. We're gonna take a little bit longer in this pose so you can kind of catch your breath. You wanna keep your right foot flexed here. And we're aiming to feel a stretch more towards the outside of your right leg. So we're stretching the outside hamstring, which doesn't always get as much attention, especially as dancers. We're always really focused on more of the inner thigh flexibility. So it's a really great stretch to do here. And on your next inhale, we'll sit on back up, stretch out that left leg, and we're gonna flip ourselves over, finding plank on the second side. Again, for five breaths. You got this. Lifting the hips, finding a long line through the spine, from your heels all the way to the top of your head. Notice any heat through the body. I know I'm starting to feel quite warm here. And on your next exhale, we'll take the left leg, step it forward, rotate the back heel. Inhale yourself on up, warrior one. Inhale to grow and get taller. Exhale, we're taking a very slight back bend. And as we recover, opening up into our warrior two. Feel long and strong through the upper body here. We're gonna take a little port de bras with the left arm reaching up and over. Take it down into your extended side angle. And now take the opposite circle with that right arm. Flip your back heel, lifting up high lunge. Now grab a hold of your right wrist. Inhale to grow taller, exhale to fold, stretching into the front of that hip. And we'll recover coming into your prayer hands. Exhale to twist and place that right elbow on the outside of your left knee. Aim to bring your hands towards the center of your chest. Breathing deep. And we'll step the right leg up to meet the left. And from here, spill most of your weight into your right foot, bring your gaze down. You're gonna release your hands, but try to maintain that twist. Grab your left toe with your two-piece fingers. Lift that leg up. Finding your extension with the twist. Pushing into that supporting leg. And again, just like a nice giant ball change with a big port de bras, step left to right, all the way down and across the other side to find your easy twist. Taking one big breath here. Just like we did on the other side, rolling to the outside edges of both feet. And drop the hips, drop the arm. Inhale, push and lift. Exhale, release. Inhale, push. And release down. Push into the feet, lift the hips. Last one, down and push. And sit yourself all the way down to the mat, rotate to face the back. Let your right leg relax over your left. Inhale, grow, get taller. We have a little break here. As we exhale to fold, let the weight of your head pull you forward. Take a moment to notice any sensations throughout the body. Notice your heart rate here. We will repeat that sequence once more on the right and the left. Moving a little bit faster, so we won't have to hold things for quite as long this time. But we can do it. I believe in us. So when you're ready on your next inhale, we're gonna push ourselves back up to a seated position. Stretch your right leg out, and we're flipping ourselves over to plank. Repeating that again on the right a little bit faster, remembering to breathe. So coming back to your plank, nice long line. Still gonna take five breaths here, not gonna make our plank shorter. And step your right foot forward, rotate the back heel. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, little back bend. 
recover, warrior two. Long and strong, let the right arm breathe up and over. Take it down, extended side angle. Reverse that circle, turn in, runner's lunge. Grab the left wrist, inhale, exhale to fold. And prayer twist, so that left, that left elbow. Step the back foot in. Transfer the weight to the left foot, look down. Grab that toe, lift it up. Finding your extended standing twist. Take one big breath here. Nice big ball change all the way around to the back. And we'll rotate to the outside of your feet. Exhale, dip the hips. Inhale, push and lift. Exhale, dip. Inhale, push and lift. Two more. Push. And last one. Push to lift. And bring your hips all the way to the floor as we rotate. Relax that left foot over your right leg. Keep your right foot flexed. Inhale to grow. Exhale to fold. Taking a little moment to breathe into the body. Our little breather here before we repeat it one more time. So on your next inhale, sit yourself back up, stretch both legs out, and we'll flip ourselves over. Last time you got this, hands right under your shoulders, toes are tucked as we lift on up into plank, taking five deep, deep, deep breaths here. Feel that heat radiating off your body. And on your next exhale, we'll step the left foot forward. Twist the back heel. Inhale, coming on up, warrior one. Exhale to bend backwards. Recover, transfer to warrior two. Long and strong, left arm breathes up all the way down, left palm plants, extended side angle. Reversing that circle, turn the back foot. Runner's lunge, grab the right wrist. Inhale to grow, exhale to fold. Bring the hands together, prayer twist over that left leg. Step the right foot in. Try to get your knees together first step, right before we look down. Transfer your weight to your right foot. Grab your left toe, push yourself up to stand, and twist. Taking one breath here so we feel nice and solid in this balance. And then again, nice big ball change. My favorite part all the way to the other side of the mat. Breathing here and rolling to the outside edges of both feet. And dip the hips down. Inhale, push. Dip the hips down. And to push. Dip. Inhale, push. Last one. Dip the hips. Inhale to push. And bring your hips all the way onto the mat as we twist to the back. And Inhale to grow, exhale, fold. Breathe deep. Take a moment to congratulate yourself. That's the hardest part of our class, I promise. So you've made it over the hump. We're gonna start to cool down, getting a little bit more passive with our stretches for the remainder of class. And on your next inhale, we'll lift ourselves back up. Extend your right leg out. And just like before, we'll flip onto the other side. But this time, let your body relax onto the mat. And you're going to walk up onto your elbows like I am here. Finding the Sphinx pose. Just a nice, easy back bend. Make sure your shoulders are pushing down and away from your ears here. Just take a moment to... Allow your heart rate to return to normal. Allow your breathing to return to normal. And in this position, you can really feel your belly expand and contract right against the floor. Try to keep your hips at the back rotated in, so we're in a parallel position here. And we'll release the spine. Bring your hands under your shoulders. 
push your hips up and back, toes together, knees apart, and just relax your forehead down, taking a nice big breath. Really allowing your body to relax after that pretty intense set of flows. Breathing deep, we'll be here for five more breaths. forehead and you're actually going to walk yourself forward onto your belly once again. So we have one more more creative flow where we're going to really test our directions and which way that we're facing. Um, so this is where you want to have enough space around your mat. We are only going to do this flow once. So only one time through before we come into Shavasana. So you're going to bend both of your feet in behind you and relax your upper body down and grab the outsides of your feet. And from here, we're coming into bow pose. So push your feet into your hands to lift your legs, lift your upper body up off the mat. A bit more of an extreme back bend here. Really push, push, push. Try to keep your knees in line with your hips so they're not splaying open too wide. But trying to stay a little bit more parallel here. And we're gonna exhale, release. Let go of your left leg, but keep your right leg where it is. So we're coming into a quad stretch. And you can bring your left hand to meet your right on that right foot. Breathing deeply here. Now from here, this is where we have a bit of a tricky transition. Let go of your foot, bring that arm up overhead. And then you're gonna try to maintain that grip with your foot. Just roll onto your left side onto your back, so you might be just off the mat. And now grabbing the outside of your foot, elbow's gonna come onto the inside of the knee as you pull and guide that foot in, finding half happy baby here. So just one leg, happy baby, opening up that right hip only. Try to keep your left hip into the floor here. Breathing deeply. And we'll release the hold of that foot, grab that knee with the opposite arm, and then on an exhale, bring that knee up and over onto your mat. You can let that right arm reach out beside you, finding our spinal twist. Breathing deeply, as always. Really feel this twist coming from your navel, both shoulder blades remain on the floor. And from here, we're gonna roll back onto your stomach, Plant this right arm on the ground beside you, and then push into your left hand, bend your knees, and open up so we're coming into a side stretch here. And if you don't feel too much in this stretch, you can bend that arm so it's at 90 degrees, and then come back into your chest opener here. So we really tried to focus on all different parts of the body in this class. So we've got side bends, back bends, some spinal twists, lots of movement through the legs, through the feet, through the arms. I hope you're feeling that through your whole body here. And we're gonna repeat that flow just on the other side. So rolling back onto your belly. Maybe recenter yourself after all of that rolling around and we'll bend into both knees grabbing the outsides of the feet. We will repeat bow pose on the side. So on an inhale, push your feet into your hands, coming all the way up. Feel wide through the chest. Feel your belly expanding into the floor as you breathe. And this time we will relax. Release the right leg down. Keep the left foot in both hands, stretching into your quad here. Really nice and long through the front of your left hip. And now we'll reach the right arm up overhead this time, rolling onto your right side. Flip your grip, so now you're holding the outside of your left foot. Finding half happy baby here. 
On the left, keep that right hip pressing into the floor as we do this. Opening up through the hip. And we'll bang into that left knee. Grab a hold of it with the right hand. Exhale to twist, left arm can extend. Keeping your shoulder blades on the floor, but let your knee just relax towards your mat. Finding a twist from your navel, breathing into a deep place in your belly. And once again, roll back onto your stomach. Extend that left arm out so that you can plant the right palm, bend the knees once again, and roll onto your left side. So we're finding that chest opener on the second side. And don't forget, you can change this slightly by extending your left arm into a straight line beside you. I just prefer this variation for my own, my own body and where I feel the stretch the most. And you're gonna roll all the way over. Push yourself up into a seated position, coming to the center of your mat. Just bring the soles of your feet together. We're just gonna come into a nice, easy butterfly fold. So we're gonna take more of a yin approach to this one here. So don't grip through the hips. We're not gonna try and keep the spine long. Let's just, on an inhale, grow to get taller to feel that long spine. And then on an exhale, you can let your chin fall to your chest. Really curve through your spine. Let gravity pull the weight of your head forward so that you fall into this stretch. So we're not using any muscle engagement here. Really just allowing the spine to curve and relax over those hips and those legs. Finding a moment of stillness after all of that movement. Again, notice if there's any sensations through the body, how that feels. Notice your heart rate, notice any heat. Stretch the legs out, coming all the way into Shavasana. So let yourself be wide, take up space. Let your feet flop open towards the outsides of the mat. Palms are facing up towards the sky. Shoulders are relaxed into the mat. Spine is curving naturally. No tension through the body. And again, take a moment to appreciate the stillness after all of that movement. Appreciate all the effort that flow took. Take a moment to thank yourself for stepping onto the mat today and experiencing this rather intense flow. And we'll take another minute or so here to relax the body back to its natural state. So just remember to breathe deeply and relax.
gently start to wiggle your fingers and toes. Bring the life back into your body. We'll come up to a seated position by first rolling onto your right side. Take a moment to settle here. And then push yourself up back into your seated position. Bringing your hands together in front of your heart, bending forward. Namaste. Thank you so much dancers for doing this practice with me. I know I had a lot of fun doing it. I hope you did too. Definitely please, for this class in particular, do let me know if you enjoyed this and if you'd like to see more creative flows that kind of test your sense of direction. I can definitely put those together for you. And of course, do give this video a thumbs up and please don't forget before you leave to subscribe to SKR Yoga and Wellness if you haven't already. I release new videos for dancers every single Friday. So that's all for today. Thank you once again and have a great rest of your day.